I'm Evelyn and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today we're building something a little bit different. I am kind of nervous to share this with you guys because I don't even recall the last time I built anything remotely modern whatsoever. Um, it's a very long time ago. It's about a year ago maybe or more than that. So I'm a little bit nervous to share this with you guys. I hope that you like it. It's uh yeah, it's a modern jungle house because I was looking at the save file that I'm still working on and I noticed that I had two more jungle inspired houses for El Silva whatever blah blah blah. <laughs> the jungle world um i still don't know how to pronounce it it's fine whatever moving on so i noticed that i had two of those and i thought that it would be fun to build something different for this lot this is the 30 by 30 and i'm also missing the 20 by 15 is it a 20 by 15 or 20 by 20 i'm not entirely sure but i'm still missing something for that because i don't like the cottage kind of thing that i built before so there'll be another jungle built up but i saw that this was empty and i thought it would be fun to do like a modern jungle house kind of because i really wanted to do that when jungle adventure came out as well so i thought i'd take my chance and do it now but i'm a little bit yeah i'm a little bit nervous because it's not a suburban it is not a family house, it is not within my comfort zone, you know, but um, try new things here and I really hope that you guys like the house, which I've probably said about four times by now, but it's fine. Anyways, so it is for two couples, I think, because there are two big bedrooms with uh, double beds in them, both of them, so it's quite decorated on the inside. I wouldn't say that the interior is modern in any way. I feel like it's a, kind of like a mixture between modern and also the jungle adventure items, so what style is that? My, my mind is kind of blank right now. <laughs> okay, I'll admit, like, I have not slept very well tonight, or last night, so language is probably going to be an issue during this voiceover. You've been warned, but anyways, so, um, yeah, we're using a lot, like, a combination of, like, more modern versus kind of the jungle adventure items, sort of, so I hope you guys like the interior as well. It was a fun mixture. I personally like it. It's different from what I usually do, but it's nice to use new items as well, so, uh, yeah, also, I really love that blue of the windows combined with the brown. I was, like, I don't know, I was looking at the house while it still had white, or not white, but like see-through windows, like normal, transparent, completely white kind of windows, whatever color that is. I was looking at them like, no, nah, this would look really good, good if we had something blue on it. And then I found that fencing that was blue and I was like, oh wait! The windows. The windows have that blue swatch too because I never use these windows. Not really. I use them for greenhouses, conservatories. So I don't really use them to build build, you know, like not for houses themselves. Um, so I d kind of forget what kind of swatches we have with them. But then I recalled when I saw that fence, I was like, wait a minute. The, the big windows also have this kind of blue color. So I changed them and they just look so good with the brown, in my opinion, at least. Like I like the contrast there. So yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a funky house, sort of. It's also very simple. Like it's just a lot of boxes put together. <laughs> but I again, like I'm not, I'm not a master at um modern whatsoever <laughs> but i did try so hopefully you guys don't mind my poor attempt to build something modern too much um i personally think it looks okay for like a first modern for a long time you know what i mean so um also if you follow me on twitter by the way i did post the picture of another modern house i am working on that one and i'm also working on a third one and there'll be another one coming up next week no we're not going completely modern on this channel Channel. Don't worry, like suburbans will always always be my thing. Um, but like traditional suburbans or Tudor houses, you know, those kind of houses will always be my thing. But I am trying to get through Newcrest and also Oasis Springs and just a little bit of fun here and there. So I need the modern houses and that's what I'm working on right now. I'm like, I'm motivated, you know, I gotta, <laughs> gotta strike when the, oh, I, how do you say that? We have a saying in Danish, you gotta... Um, Smith when or not Smith but like 
you know, work on the steel while, while it's still hot. I don't know if that's a saying in English as well, but that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm working on the steel while it's still hot. I will try to make sure that there will still be like a normal, a normal build for me up every week because I do like to just make my like the the family homes that I'm comfortable with, you know, like more suburban houses or, you know, stuff like that. So I actually built the shell of the other modern house that I showed on Twitter. And then before doing the interior, which is not done, by the way, I've actually finished two other houses that are just more, that are more my style. I don't know. OK, I can't do it. I can't do modern. I have to take breaks during building moderns because I just I don't know. They frustrate me a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say frustrate me. They just kind of they're uh, boxy kind of like I don't know I'm just more comfortable with the other houses I guess but once we get you know really building on modern houses I get more comfortable with them maybe we can do some extra fun stuff with them and stuff like that you know once we get used to them so I hope that if we get new worlds soon that it, they won't be modern <laughs> you know like I don't know I just feel like I feel like that's the next step, you know? Like, there'll be a new world at some point. They've, the gurus have said that they've been working on several different wor worlds, so we will see more at some point. I'm just hoping that the next one won't be, like, modern, kind of, if that makes any sense. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the whole vibe of the world won't be suited to modern houses but like I said I do feel like that's kind of the direction we're going in because we've had all these different packs lately with like we have Brindleton Bay that was more like a seaside kind of vibe and then we also had this place which is obviously you know you can do a little bit of everything in um, this place <laughs> in the jungle <laughs> I still don't know how to pronounce the name of it so I'm just gonna call it the jungle you guys know what I'm talking about um, so yeah I just feel like now we're kind of at a point also with Forgotten Hollow like that was more Victorian houses or other gothic houses I guess um, so I feel like the next step is kind of more it would be it would be fitting if it was modern but that's just I, I'm crossing my fingers really crossing my fingers that that's not the case I don't know I know that a lot of people like modern houses so it's not that it's just a personal personally I just don't <laughs> I just it's not that I hate them I just prefer the other ones basically so anyways and please don't misunderstand this as like me complaining about building modern houses by the way because that's not like that's not what I mean I you know I do like to explore different styles architectural styles so it's always fun to like try something new for me but they just kind of make me a little bit nervous I don't know I feel like a lot of people also have big expectations to modern houses I don't know I I just yeah it, it's the expectations I just I don't like expectations anyways but um yeah I'm enjoying trying something new now and then so hopefully you guys will like the upcoming houses that I've been working on and if not then there'll still be a normal in what what do you call these rabbit ears <laughs> I don't know a normal build for me um I've said these but you can't actually see what I'm doing anyways a normal build for me of every week as well so just know that that's also coming up so um yeah other than that we are, we're building on this house today I did go a little bit crazy with the landscaping I wanted it to sort of blend in with the world around it and this jungle is very plancy it's very landscaped <laughs> so I went a little bit crazy they got a little bit of a pond out here I'm sure they can swim in that but they also got a swimming pool so just you know whatever I used the little um I don't actually know what that's called it's like a little roofing thing I sized it down and put it on, on the pond so it kind of looks like a bridge I thought that was super cute I don't know I never I don't know if I've seen it somewhere but I just yeah I thought that was super cute so I t took my chance and did that and I like how it turned out and other other than that, just putting a lot of plants around the build, putting a few plants on the build as well. I have missed using the plants or the, uh, what's it called, like the wall plants from Jungle Adventure because they're, they're so beautiful. So definitely took my chance and used some of those. And I don't know, if you got any ideas for anything you want to see on the 2515, by the way, do let me know. Like I do have, technically I got a 5x5 five five build that I could put, or was it a 6x6? Six no, it was five by five. I could put there for the save file. I also have, or I also have a tree house that I could put there, but I kind of want to build something new. So do let me know if you got any ideas. Otherwise, I'll just end up building like a small 
jungle cottage kind of thing <laughs> but yeah otherwise do let me know I am all up for you guys suggestions and yeah and also finally we're 10 minutes into this voiceover or around 10 minutes and I haven't addressed it yet there was it is now Thursday and there was a live stream was a Tuesday maybe yeah Tuesday and I'm sure that most of you guys have already heard about this I just haven't had a chance to talk about it on the channel yet but what the heck we're getting to rain tools like what where'd that come from <laughs> I was freaking out when I saw it like I don't even my mind just went like what because it was so weird because they weren't addressing it at all like they were not acknowledging some guru Romeo just casually raising the train on stream like I don't know they weren't looking at him at all he was just sitting there you know trolling everyone and I don't know I just had this like feeling when I saw it because I have spent so much time building that I know everything that's kind of going on you know what I mean like I just it it just looks weird it looked like it looked so surreal for a second that he was just raising the terrain like this is like this is weird this is not my game kind of but I'm so excited like Ah oh, yes, we're gonna get terrain tools. I cannot wait to see what everyone is gonna come up with. I cannot wait to play around with it myself either. I'm probably gonna, it's probably gonna take me a while to like get the hang of it because it did look a little bit, like a little bit complicated to use, but I am so up for the challenge. So looking forward to that so much. I have no idea when the patch is coming out. They did say it wasn't gonna be in October. So I'm thinking early November, maybe. And I don't know, I'm so excited. Lots of good things happening in the future. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more than just the terrain tools and the career that we're also getting I know there's a fashion career happening as well Which is super cool because I feel like we were definitely missing something like that in the game So definitely looking forward to see what they got. I feel like it's gonna be a big free update for whatever reason I also because I've been reading like all the um, conspiracy theories, no, <laughs> all the theories. I've also been watching a lot of Shane lately, so like conspiracy theories just all over my head anyways. Um, but yeah, I I, been, uh, I was watching all the reaction videos as well. I've been reading all the theories. People have seen, you know, the first like the little box that he made on the ground totally looked like a garage. Like, I can notice that too. Like it totally looked like a garage. A garage. I'm just saying like, yes. So now I'm kind of like, wait, if we're getting hills or terrain, they need to make a world that kind of fits that because all the worlds so far are flat if you haven't noticed except from the jungle here that's not flat um but like every or like Windenburg is also a little bit in the foresty area but the rest is kind of like flat so now I'm like are they gonna release a world at some point that's gonna be very hill like and with the same like now I'm kind of because I was always I always thought that the next expansion that we were gonna get was universities or university but now I'm like wait if they're releasing cars maybe like I'm not saying that they are but if they are <laughs> and we're also getting terrain tools and we need kind of like a world that has you know hills and stuff so it kind of fits with the terrain tools a little bit and with cars as well and I'm kind of like are we gonna get like a superstar pack or something like that like a celebrity pack is that now is that gonna happen now in that case i really want a drum kit by the way because my boyfriend won't shut up about wanting a drum kit in the game like he's a drummer by the way so just throwing that out there in case you thought that was weird um yeah so now i'm kind of like what's gonna happen are we gonna get a are we gonna get university or is it gonna be like a superstar pack or i don't know i'm freaking out a little bit like i don't even it's just, i'm so excited so much happening like yes it's gonna be good so um we're gonna so many new building possibilities <laughs> and so much new gameplay as well like everything's just gonna be great so uh yeah i don't know i was freaking out so much watching that stream though like yes and everybody was complaining in the chat because you know they had to go through sims mobile first or mobile and also what else did they go through i don't even remember the career as well like there are a few things before they actually within the last one and a half minutes started finally showing us the right tools like you are such trolls anyways so yeah i was 
freaking out about that. And then I started watching all the reaction videos afterwards because it's so, like, it's just so nice to see people so happy about us getting terrain tools. <laughs> anyways, so yeah, super excited for that. But anyways, guys, we have started with the interior and I usually start with the kitchen. So that is what we're starting with this time around as well, I think. Actually, no, I did the upstairs living, uh, sorry, one of the upstairs uh, bedrooms first for whatever reason. I don't know why, or at least I did most of it. I don't fully remember because I wasn't looking at the screen while talking before. <laughs> but um, anyways, we're doing the kitchen now and this is sort of like the whole vibe of the house that we're going with to be honest it's just very I feel like there's a few modern touches here and there but mainly I've used a lot of stuff from jungle adventure like the bookcase over there kind of like modern contemporary but um, yeah just using a lot of stuff from jungle adventure along with a few other pieces for from example movie hangout which goes very well with my, uh, jungle adventure also laundry day a little bit as well but mainly jungle adventure so um yeah they do get a fireplace from jungle adventure again and also just a little bit like a sitting area they can sit and chat in i don't know what kind of I don't want to say family because it's not a family house. It's mainly for two couples like I said before, but I don't know what kind of like group would go here. Would they be two couples going on a retreat or would it be a couple and a teen maybe could work as well? I don't feel that like, there is not a lot of toys around, so I don't feel like toddlers or children would want to go, go here, but there is room for at least or is there actually I don't fully remember I think there's room for a kid in one of my other houses in jungle adventure or in jungle adventure in the jungle <laughs> and for the other house there's room for a teen as well so this may be more like a couple retreat kind of thing I don't fully know I just I just wanted to decorate the bedrooms like because they were so huge I just wanted to make them sort of pretty ish and for you know a couple sort of so Anyways, it is mainly, I feel like it's mainly for like a couple's retreat, kind of. They rented this like luxury modern house in the jungle and they probably don't go out like too much, maybe for, maybe for a couple of hours a day and mo mo mostly stay inside or not stay inside, but stay at the house and enjoy the pool and, you know, just talk outside, have a few drinks, you know, stuff like that. I feel like that would be the sort of house um, this was for, maybe? I don't know. Let me know if you got any opinions on that, because I honestly did not think it through while doing this house. That was just... I was just so, yeah, caught up in building a modern house. <laughs> I was like, this is weird. Um, so I didn't really fully think through the whole interior of it. I just knew, like I said before, because the bedrooms were so big, I did not want to turn one of them into a teen's room or a children's room or, you know, stuff like that. So they also have a computer here, which I know is kind of weird, but it also makes it possible for you guys to place this house in Oasis Springs if you would rather have it in Oasis Springs. And also because I feel like even though your sims are on vacation, they could still be in need of a computer. So I think it's okay to put one of those in, even though it's not like the usual thing you would see at a family or not, uh, at a vacation home. Like you mostly have to bring your own laptops, you know, but let's just pretend like it's fine, okay? <laughs> I'm still working on the vampire mansion that I was talking about in another speed build. Was it the last one? Maybe? I don't fully remember. Um, it is coming along. It's just going slowly because I am currently pre-recording a little bit, so I'm like trying to just get a few videos out. Or not, like a few videos done every day, and since it's such a big house, I'm kind of postponing it a little bit because I can't do more than just that house in a day because it's like freaking big <laughs> so it'll come at some point hopefully during October because that would fit perfectly you know with it being Halloween and all that stuff so still trying to try my best to get it done but it's just taking a little bit longer I was actually planning on getting it out on Saturday but I just can't I don't have time to do it so it's gonna have to wait a little bit hopefully that's okay with you guys but know that it is um I'm working on it it's just very big if you're not on the discord you don't know it's big it turned into a four-story home I don't know what happened <laughs> anyways now I'm kind of wondering if we're gonna get the terrain to us before that also, they got like no backyard or front yard or anything like because the house is so big. The lots in Forgotten Hollow are actually not that big, to be honest. I think the biggest one is of Lattice 
Strauss <laughs> Vlad's um, what's, this, what's this called name called Vlad Strauss Vlad we're just gonna call him Vlad anyways um, a flatty daddy <laughs> okay anyways okay Vlad's house is on a 40 by 30 and that's the biggest lot I think so this house will probably do better in a 50 by 50 but I don't want to move it to Willow Creek because it does not fit in in Willow Creek so I don't really know like yeah they're just not gonna have a lot of like yard go around it but Forgotten Hollow is um not that yard friendly anyways because it's so dark and stuff so maybe we'll just put like a an indoors botanic room in there i don't fully know there'll probably be room for it to be honest because it is huge so i don't know a little update on that house if you were waiting for that i don't understand why any of you would because it's so strange <laughs> but i don't know if you in case you were there's a little bit of an update on that so and here there is the second bedroom and it is a little bit more toned down compared to the other one which was very colorful so in here we're using a lot of like browns and grays blacks and also white so yeah, just a, like a lot more neutral, a little bit more mature maybe. The other one was more for like a hippie kind of couple maybe, like a couple that just like free spirited couple basically. And in here we got a little bit more light bag, you know, sophisticated kind of couple. So um, yeah, that's just, it's a little bit more neutral in my opinion. But anyways guys, we are getting to the end of this video. I will put a few things out in the backyard in a bit and also on the terrace out here. But other than that, I think we're about done. So I'm gonna wrap up this voiceover now. I hope you like this build. You can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, feel free to leave Leave suggestions in the comment section down below I'm always up for suggestions and I write everything down in my little notebook so shoot away if you got any ideas and also let me know what you think about this house like did I do terrible with the first modern build in a very very long time I think to be honest it's like the third modern house that I've ever built <laughs> so hopefully I didn't do too badly but um do let me know you know just let me know anyways so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video remember to like subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and I will see you all in the next one Bye -bye. Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know That I just wanna be with you Baby, there is this place where we can go Where it's always shining like the snow Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know Listen to your heart